Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a beautiful spring design. You can have a wee preview of it in here. So very bright and colorful uh, design. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Thank you so much for all your likes, comments and shares. Let's start. <laughs> beautiful spring design you can have a wee preview of it here and it's unusual for me to do it and uh, the design only on two tips uh, but I didn't want to keep you boring because the pattern is exactly the same so I will show you how to recreate it two looks one where we've got the lines in the middle and then and the other one when we've got them on the side um, so it will go in the gradient color and that will be the ring finger and the pinky on the ring finger we will go for a pink because we've got orange here and to do my pink, I'm going to mix the color plus red and some paint on French gel to get a nice pink color. So just pick up some white. And then red. Obviously more uh, white, less red, just so we can get a nice shade. And this is pretty nice. Uh, also I'm going to use a larger brush, which is a Neil Perfect watercolor brush for this design. And what you have to do is just pick up the paint. Now we have this one in the middle, so we are going to leave it uh, the middle one free and we will do two lines on the side. You have to have very steady hand for it. Then pressing pretty strong, we will create almost a transparent look. And that's what you are going to do it. Like it's really time consuming. That's why I decided to show you on two only. Okay, so we've got first line pick up another drop and do a second line. very little product line and press really hard. Okay, tidy up the line so you're really happy. And so they kind of see through. Then give it a cure. And after that we will be able to paint the next line. So here I'm going to also on the side mix some purple. And to be able to get a nice purple I'm adding a drop of the color plus in blue. So just a small drop in blue to create a nice purple shade. Okay, and this way I've got a really beautiful purple. That was just to save the time. Now we are going to pick up another pink and then go this way. As you can see it guys, it is very easy design if you can paint lines. 
and lines are always my biggest struggle. So it is a nice and challenging set. What else you can do it like to have the transparency? You could use a drop of the top coat as well. Yeah, I'm just picking up a small amount of the product and pressing pretty decent. I think it's absolutely cute design for a spring. And then another one. I'm always kind of starting in the middle um, and then I go wider on the each side just to make sure they are more even. Okay, so lots of lots of movement. And as you can see, it is pretty time consuming. And like with every design, the more time we spend on something, the nicest results we get. Okay, so we've got those check look. Now I'm going to give it a cure. I can start already painting some lines in here. And now for a change, we are going to go for the line in the middle. So I'm picking up my purple and going to paint the line in the middle, even less. This is actually an amazing shade of the purple we have created. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Now I want to have this transparency to it, so I'm going to really work it out my product. So if you see it, like the more strokes I do, the more transparent it's become. Okay, and then we've got some space just on the side for a wee tiny bit of the line, just on the top part. And same on the other side, just on the top, oh, almost no space. Just on the top part, and then give it a cure. Okay, the pink one is ready. So I'm just cleaning my brush well. And best way to do it is even pick up the color you are going to use and clean it with this gel you are going to use. And now we are going to color it in. So we only color the places where the gel polish is uh, crossing each other. You can also add the drop of the red to make it darker. It's already, those places already looks a little bit darker, but we want to just darken it up.
I'm actually even going to add a drop of the red to make it even more stand out. And again, very time consuming process. Okay, and then again, they cross each other here. You could also do it in a rainbow color. That would be so fussy to do it. Expanding probably ages, but I think it will look pretty cool too. And I hope guys you don't mind that uh, I didn't show you the, the green, yellow and the orange, but it's honestly, it's just exactly the same process. I have picked also two different, uh, slightly different patterns, so you could see it both option. But there is no point to look at it again. At least that's what I think. Okay, and now we are going to give it a cure. Now let's move on into the purple. So for purple we have to do with the lines. I'm picking it up. Remove the excess. And now we are going to do the lines. I could also do it with the gel polish as well. I just like a uh, color plus gel because it doesn't run. It's kind of because they are paint on gels, they stay on in one place. And again, start in the middle, just so you know the thickness. Because it's easy to add on, it's harder to take off. And again, as you can see it, because we're going uh, over those place in the middle a second time, it's slightly darker. So you don't necessarily need to add those uh, squares inside with the darker color. I just like it because uh, I think it stands out even better, especially for a camera. Okay, and then once you're happy with it, give it a cure. Now the pink one is ready and we are going to use the matte top coat over it. I actually like those two colors so much together, like a really nice pink and purple. We should do some unicorn set of the nails with these colors. I might actually keep it. <laughs> okay, so matte top coat over it and then give it a cure and add just those purple squares in here 
And again, I could add a drop of the red to darken the, darken the purple a little bit. And here we've got less uh, squares to fill up because it's just in the middle. Now I hope guys you don't mind again asking the same question, like you don't mind showing me it only on two tips. But honestly, the other ones have been created just exactly the same, slightly different color. Then cook it and let's check the pink one. Yeah, it looks so beautiful and matte, like really nice. It actually looks like the tablecloth, uh, the tablecloth for the Easter time or when you're going for a picnic. <laughs> so let's put this finger here. So that's a ring finger. Yeah, so beautiful. And then matte top coat over the purple one. And that's our pinky. And then once it's cured, I can show you the full, full set because I think it looks awesome together, like all these uh, different colors. Yeah, but you could do it all in blue, all, all in pink, and and then maybe add some wee flower in the corner or something but even just like this is really really nice on its own so a couple seconds longer yeah i love the pink one i think it looks awesome and that's the pinky is ready too actually the pink is nice too <laughs> yeah pink and uh, pink and purple that's my favorite too Just because we have managed to create an create an absolutely beautiful shade of the of these two colors, so I'm just using a drop more of the blue tag to stick this in. There we are. That's the finished result of those Easter spring kind of uh, set of the nails. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I love those pink and purple. Now I want a full set only in pink and purple. <laughs> Yeah, I hope guys you have really enjoyed this short video, glittery hacks, and bye for now.